Hey everyone, it's Chris with HotShotsCatering.com and this is another episode of Hot Shots TV. In today's episode, we're gonna discuss and talk about alternative milks. But these aren't just your standard grocery store alternative milks. These are actually the barista series of alternative milks. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back. So we have our alternative milks here and today's video is really gonna be about how do they froth, uh, how do they steam, and then what is the taste of them? Which ones taste very good uh, in my personal opinion? Um, so before we get into that though, let's just start off just talking about each one of these milks a little bit. So we have an oat, we have a soy, we have an almond, we have a, milk, a macadamia nut, uh, and then we have an oat again. And if you're new to alternative milks, you know, you're probably watching this video, trying to figure out with these milks, one, what tastes the best, but two, you might have allergies, you might have different things that's leading you to, um, you know, might be lactose or something like that, that's leading you to checking out some of these more barista style series alternative milks. Um, and so let's get into that. I'm not gonna really base and subject, you know, the pros and cons of, you know, soy milk compared to macadamia nut milk. You know, do that on your own, do some good research and find out what milk is best for you. Each one of these milks, I will tell you, have pros and cons. Um, the more popular milks today are gonna be these oat milks. Um, there's several different brands out there and a lot of these brands are now, as you can see, doing oat milk. Um, so what is an alternative milk? Well, primarily alternative milk is gonna be nuts, seeds, whatever it is that they're gonna be using to make the milk. They're gonna use that and water and then combine them to, and normally they put preservatives, thickeners, uh, other things like that to actually create the, the milk kind of stable, shelf life, all that good stuff. And uh, what's different with the barista style milks is I think it goes another level above that. And what that means is they might use more thickeners, they might use something else to where the, the milk is easy for a barista to foam up and make into, for instance, uh, do latte art with, things like that, that you know coffee shops are really gonna be looking at instead of just getting a lot of these plant-based milks, I'll tell you, when you buy them in the gallon jugs, um, I won't mention any of the names, but when you go to the store and you buy those and you start working with them, they don't really hold up into lattes very well. So these are what the professional baristas are using and that's why I wanted to do this video. Now, the way we're gonna uh, test and taste these milks is one, we're gonna use uh, automatic frother. And really what I wanna do is implement this and showcase this as you at home would be heating up these milks and how it would work for you. And uh, so really we're gonna use an automatic frother. Many people nowadays have the automatic frothers where you pour in the milk, you hit a button and it's good to go. And you're hoping, if you're familiar with alternative milks, you're hoping that milk's gonna froth. And so that's what we're gonna see today uh, with these, as well as we're gonna steam it. And we're gonna see the differences between steaming, frothing, you'll be able to see all that. Um, and then finally, we'll get into tasting these milks. Uh, the milks I have here real quickly, I have Oatly. This is a very popular oat-based milk. Um, and uh, obviously, like I said, oat milk has been on the rise recently. We have Pacific Foods. This is the Barista Steer Series Soy Original Milk. We have Califia Farms. This is their almond milk. Uh, Milkadamia, this is a macadamia nut based milk. And then Califia Farms again with their oat milk. So let's get into it. I'm gonna basically go and show you the steaming, or I should say the frothing, the steaming, and then obviously the tasting. So let's get into it. Okay, so for frothing, we're gonna be utilizing the Breville Milk Cafe. It actually froths about three cups of milk and is one of the best frothers on the market. As far as steaming, we'll be using the Lavazza Espresso Point Matinee Machine. Uh, this is gonna give us something the closest to what you'd be utilizing at home for uh, steaming, uh, frothing milk at home. So the first milk that we're gonna be testing, the alternative milk is gonna be Oatly, the oat milk. Let's put that in and see how that uh, works out for us. 
Now this one we have a very nice foam, very nice froth. As we pour it out here, you can see how it's nice and thick. Uh, this is the right consistency of what you want for a foam to make a great cappuccino, uh, to make really a great uh, starting point for topping off a latte as well. So really great job with the Oatly Milk. We're also going to show how it steamed. Steamed very well uh, and very consistent to how it frothed in the frother. Uh, not really any difference here uh, as you can see we're spooning here with the consistency uh, and I think it makes a really really good foam next up is Pacific Foods Barista Series Soy we're gonna pour this in and we're gonna see what type of frothing that we can get out of this So as we can see here with the frothing, it actually did very, very well. No bubbles, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, it almost actually frothed too well, uh, too thick. As you can see, the foam and froth almost kind of just stands up on its own there. Um, but that's great if you want to get heaping spoons of foam and froth uh, coming out uh, to top off a latte or obviously to do a cappuccino. Here we're steaming that milk and it's pretty much the same consistency as well. Very, very thick foam. Uh, I think almost too thick, but no bubbles whatsoever. Uh, very, very nice uh, foam for a cappuccino or top off a latte. Next up is the Califia Barista Blend Almond Milk Unsweetened. Uh, let's put this in the automatic frother and see what we come up with on this one. Okay, so as we can tell here, this pretty much did <laughs> probably the worst one so far. Uh, no froth whatsoever. Uh, there's a little bit of bubbles and stuff, but you know, I wouldn't even consider that froth. Um, it's pretty sad uh, that this did not froth in our automatic frother, but uh, let's see how it does in the steam. Steam one actually did a better job, but as you can still see here, the consistency is still pretty bad. Um, it's, it's pretty sad to see uh, that this milk does not do any kind of foam or froth. Next up is the milkadamia nut. Uh, milkadamia latte da the macadamia nut milk so we're going to pour this in and see how it froths up okay so there is a little bit of foam there but obviously as soon as it's done we're automatically seeing the hot liquid pour out uh, that's also pretty disappointing um, didn't really give us really a lot of foam. Uh, at most, you could say that's still a latte uh, if you're pouring that directly into a, a shot. As far as steaming, it did seem to do a little bit better on steaming. There is definitely some, some bubbles there, but um, how well? Yeah, I wouldn't say it would do much for you for a cappuccino. Uh, pretty disappointing as well, but uh, at least it foamed better than the last one. So we have Califia Farms Oat Barista Blended Milk now. Uh, I am very hopeful that this will turn out to be better than the almond version of Califia Farms. But let's take a look here and see how it froths. So as we can see here, it uh, foamed up a little bit better, but we're still getting hot liquid milk coming out. Not ideal for a cappuccino. Uh, really more of a latte consistency coming out there. Um, but a lot better than the almond version of their milks. Now let's take a look at how it steams. So steaming wise, this milk did a lot better. Um, a lot more foam, easier way to make a cappuccino, but still 
you're taking away from the fact that it can't really have the same consistency when it does an automatic froth. Now that concludes our frothing. Okay, so now that we just froth these milks and we saw how good they froth, let's go into tasting. Let's start down here at the Oatly milk. That's really good. It's very creamy. You can definitely taste the oats. Um, it's kind of funny, the um, oat milk, uh, I've tried this one before, and uh, to me, when you heat it up, it smells like oatmeal, <laughs> uh, which would make sense. But uh, it definitely has an oat taste to it. You can definitely, it's almost like, uh, almost kind of like when you drink that bowl of cereal. Uh, I hope that doesn't gross anyone out, but that's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. So let's try this uh, soy. Um, that's very, very good. It's actually a little bit sweeter than the oat milk, um, which if you're doing lattes and things like that, you might really like that. Uh, I personally like sweetness of milk in my lattes, um, though a lot of times when we're working events, we use unsweetened because we're gonna be adding syrups and other things to it. So, but that's very good. Obviously, a lot of these, obviously, they're gonna have whatever taste they are. Soy's gonna taste like soy. Uh, oat's gonna taste like oat, you know? So I'm not really so much worried about that and, and trying to convey that here in this video. What I wanna explain to you though is, it does one, does it taste good? And two, uh, how sweet are they? Um, things like that. Am I getting any other weird flavors out of them? But so far, these are very good. I would say this is definitely a little bit on, more on the creamier side, the oat milk, and this is a little bit more on the sweeter side compared to the two. Let's try this almond milk. Now that's definitely not sweet at all. Uh, <laughs> For me, and, and I'm not trying to say anything bad about this milk, but obviously it's unsweetened, so you want a good base for something unsweetened. I think it nails that. It definitely tastes like almonds, but when I first drink it, the first image that comes into my head is like drinking chalk, if that makes sense. Uh, it's not powdery or anything, it just kind of hits you as just like this blank flavor of almond, <laughs> and uh, which is good in a lot of ways. That's what you want in kind of a basis milk for your lattes and things like that. Not sweet, obviously it's an unsweetened. Matter of fact, this, this actually is sweet, but it doesn't even say it on here uh, for the soy. But yeah, this one, very plain. Let's go on to the milk adamia nut. Now this one here, I will say this should be sweetened. Uh, it's called latte da, latte da, uh, macadamia nut. And I think this has, I want to say it has a vanilla flavor, but maybe not. Let's try it and find out. Oh yeah. I love macadamia nut milk because it, it has a very rich flavor to it. Surprisingly though, it's not as rich, I would say, as this oat milk. You know, this is really hits me more like a half and half. This is kind of borderline. Uh, very, very sweet though. I, I, I would say probably almost sweeter. Let's try this one again. Probably about the same, but this has a little bit more of a, I should say a vanilla kind of flavoring to it, uh, but very good. Let's try the oat. Very good, a little bit more earthy than this one down here, if that's a term. But um, definitely oat flavor. Pretty much these two are gonna be kind of, to me, on par with each other uh, as being obviously oat milks. Um, so what else can I say? I think these are great. All of them are great if you're trying to do something alternatively. You wanna try a different type of, of milk. We saw how they kind of all ended up as far as frothing. Um, I really think as far as the winners go on the frothing side of things, I think the Oatly is really good if you want just a good foam, okay? 
uh, not too thick, but just a good standard foam. It's gonna work in a frother, it's gonna work in a steam one. The soy actually surprised me. It has very stiff foam. Uh, as you can see in some of the videos, it, it seemed like it could stand up on its own. And so the soy, I think, is very good for foaming, um, as well as I think it, um, you know, it will give a good taste as well. Um, and it will work with the steam one. I like that. Um, this one was very disappointing, the almond milk. Um, I just found it, uh, it, it, it foamed, but didn't foam in the automatic frother. Uh, as much as I wish it would. Um, Milkadamia nut uh, as well. Um, you know, I think it was good, but it wasn't on par with these other ones. Um, and then the Barista Oat Blend, this one, I, I wasn't a big fan of it as well. So Califia, I think they could do a lot better. I don't know what they're using as thickeners and things like that. I wouldn't say that they're, not, they're bad, but it depends on what you're looking for. It, to me, in my opinion, if you want a really good all around uh, alternative milk that you can use in automatic frother, and we've seen that you can use it in a steam one, I think these two down here are gonna be your winners. Uh, and as far as flavors, they all taste great. So uh, personally, I want you to go out and get some of these milks and try them on your own. That's also the purpose of this video is, you know, I'm giving you a little bit of my expertise uh, maybe which ones to start with. I would probably start with these two, but in all honesty, you know, this has always been one of my favorite milks, the milkadamia nut. Uh, and I, I just like the macadamia nut milk. It, it's just, to me, it's good. Uh, I would probably, believe it or not, drink this over these other ones. Um, so really it's gonna come down to a personal preference. Obviously it's gonna come down to the pros and cons of these milks. And then finally, it's gonna come down to, um, well, like I said, your own preference, what you like, what you end up liking as far as taste and everything else. Um, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys learned something at least about these milks, about how they froth, how they steam, and then my personal opinion on how they taste. And I hope that at least gets you started guidance for going out and trying these alternative milks. Thank you guys for joining me today on this other episode, another episode of Hot Shots TV, and I will see you guys next time. What do you think I'm trying to do? Trying to milk this almond? Of course I am. So, have you guys subscribed yet? If not, click up here. Would you like to see more great videos that we have to offer here at Hot Shots? Click up here and I'll see you guys next time. Right, good.